just a quick job today. Um, so um, the refurbishment of this room happened about three years, two or three years ago, and we've got some um, plasterboard screw pops come through. So there's one just up there. Not quite sure why they didn't use one of the black plasterboard screws, but we've also got one on the pitch there where they have used the black plasterboard screw. Um, uh, worth noting that those black plasterboard screws are PH1 screw heads, um, one of the rarities. Um, normally it's PZ2. This one over here was a PZ2. I think it's just a box standard screw. So way to deal with them is first just screw them in a little bit tighter back in, um, bury it a few moles, millimeters into the plasterboard. Then use a Stanley knife edge just to scrape around and get as smooth an edge um, of the plasterboard um, as you can. And then it's simply a case of mixing up some, in my case, just easy fill, screw fix easy fill, and um, uh, plastering, out, patching over, um, and sanding down to level off, waiting for it to dry, and then paint. So not, not too difficult a job today. Another plaster repair job to do in the kitchen as well today. We've had this hairline crack that had formed down here. So the trick there is, the hairline is too small um, to actually fill in with um, filler. So, you, so counterintuitive as it sounds, you've got to carve it out a bit wider first, which I've started doing here, to give the filler something proper to bind to, and then the usual practice, sand it down and touch it up with some paint. So I'm just carving it out, carving it out now, making it worse temporarily, and then we'll, um, we'll put the filler in. So I cannot recommend these prestige confidential filing knives enough. Look at the smooth, by running that down there, the smoothness of the finish it's given. And it's barely gonna need any sanding at all, just in the actual um, channel I've carved out. So I let that dry, sand it down, and then ready for painting. Okay, sanding has now been done, and you can see, hopefully, that's actually, really quite flush, very smooth, can't feel any ridge there with the sand at all. So now, just need to touch up with the paint and hopefully that will all blend in and hide nicely. So in terms of painting, um, I can't find the original paint that we used when this was all, the house was refurbished, decorated three or four years ago, and even if I could find it, probably be old and rotted by now. So. What I have, I've got, still got quite a bit of, is this Perla White from Zinza. And I was super impressed with this when I did the ceiling of the garden gym I built a year and a half, two years ago. So it's, um, I've stirred it up a bit. It doesn't look too, too bad. So we'll give that a whirl and hopefully it blends in nicely with the, the existing white. This is the first pop screw, all finished off, sanded, painted. And you can see that that's all tied in nicely um, and good to go.